and welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're going to be doing a little unboxing and review of every single product on my August 2018 BoxyCharm subscription. So this is pretty much a subscription box in which you get five full-size products every single month for $21 a month. And this is my first ever BoxyCharm, so I'm really excited. First product I got in this box is the Wonder Beauty Baggish Clean Gold Eye Mask. I will be reviewing these for you guys. I also got the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette, which is this guy right here. I will also be doing a pretty in-depth review of this palette in this video. So if you do wanna see a review of this palette on the eyes, definitely keep on watching. And I also got the House of Lashes lashes in the style Feather Red. They're super beautiful lashes. I also got the Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Eyeliner right here, as well as the Ades New York Age Defying Nail Treatment here. And I do really like this second like nail oil. And lastly, I got the Smashbox Stay All Day Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Deep Thoughts, which is just literally one of the best look lipsticks ever so if you want to watch a review on all of those products as well as my thoughts on them keep on watching but if you're not a part of the Paolian family yet definitely subscribe to my channel before you leave and yeah if you want to watch my tutorial unboxing and also review on the August 2018 boxy charm keep on watching all right guys so the first thing I got on my boxy charm is the Wonder Beauty Baggish Claim Gold Eye Mask and I actually got three of these so I'm just gonna be putting this on and they are sheet masks for your eyes so all I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take them out of here and I'm gonna put them on for 15 minutes and then I'll come back to tell you guys how they worked out so this is what they look like they are two gold eye masks and they are infused with a serum to deep off the eye get rid of any dark circles and my face is completely clean right now and moisturized so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it like this and I'm just gonna put this on my under eye. So these are pretty much infused with collagen and ingredients to depuff the under eye, get rid of dark circles, brighten the under eye, and moisturize it. So right now it is 6.04 in the afternoon. So I'll be back at 6.19. All right guys, so right now it is 6.21. So it's been a little bit over 15 minutes. It's been around 17 minutes. So I'm just gonna take these off. I'm gonna dab the serum that's left, like this says, underneath my eyes. And I do have to say, my dark circles are definitely lighter, and my under eyes are definitely way more moisturized. So yeah, I do like these masks. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my foundation, concealer, powder, pretty much my face makeup, because I didn't get anything for the face makeup on this box. And after I'm done with my face makeup, I'll come back to do my eyes and brows and all that stuff. So. Yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. All right guys, so let's get started with the eyes. As you can tell, I already did one eye off camera, and that is because I wanna do this tutorial a little bit quicker because I don't wanna sit here for 20 hours reviewing this palette. But for the eye look, I'm gonna be using the Lara Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. This is the brand new one, and on this look that I'm gonna be showing you guys, I use every single shade in this palette, and I know there are only six shades, so they're not that many. So I'm first gonna go in with my Morphe M504, and the shade is a party which is this one right here and first of all this shade my first impressions when doing this eye is I just wish it was a little more pigmented like as you can tell I just went in windshield wiper motions on my crease and you can barely tell it is there and in order to get this color to show up you have to build it up a lot I would definitely say if you want this color to show up very pigmented you definitely need to use a concealer base without setting the concealer however on the base of my eye right now I put concealer and I set it with the fit me powder by Maybelline there's a lot of people that actually don't set their concealer with powder and just go straight in with eyeshadow and I would say with this eyeshadow with this specific one that is something that would actually be helpful it's just not pigmented enough in my opinion so now I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E38 and the shade damage control which is this one right here and I'm just gonna put that a little bit lower on the crease and I do have to say with this shade you will get a lot of fallout in the pan like as you can tell when I tap it there's a lot of kickback there wasn't as much kickback with this one but I would definitely
definitely say with this palette you will get a lot of kickback with these four shades right here but with these two over here there's barely any kickback however i usually don't get bothered by kickback i can just tap off the excess on my brush and just blow it away but if you are bothered by kickback in your pan definitely keep that in mind and now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put this right on the crease of my eye but i'm not gonna drag it all the way up to the brow i want to keep it very concentrated on the socket of my crease and as you can tell this color is pretty pigmented it's way more pigmented than the previous color and it does blend very nicely into it's a party which is the shade we applied previously so they do blend together into each other very nicely and it also blends pretty fast and I'm just placing this in windshield wiper motions all the way from outer corner to inner corner but on the crease not on the lid and now i'm gonna go back in with my sigma a38 and the shade karaoke which is that deepest blue in the palette and with this shade you will get the same amount of fallout i mean not fallout but kickback in the pan that you did with the previous shade it is very similar to the kickback on the subculture palette as well as the modern renaissance palette by anastasia which i find kind of funny considering the review that laura lee gave on those palettes regarding the kickback and then she comes out with a palette that has the same amount of kickback it's like i don't know i found that kind of kind of strange so i'm just gonna pack it on the brush i'm gonna tap off the excess and i'm gonna put it even lower than the previous shade we used but as you can tell, this is just going to deepen up the blue and it's going to make the crease look more dimensional and just more colorful, you know? And again, I'm doing this in windshield wiper motions. And as you can tell, this shade does blend into the other shades very nicely and easily. It is not hard to blend, which is nice. And now, I know that's not completely blended, but I'm going to grab that same karaoke shade on my finger and I'm going to pack it on my outer corner. I feel like these shades are so much more pigmented on the finger. So after that is packed, I'm just gonna grab my Sigma E38 again and I'm just gonna keep blending all these colors together. And now I'm gonna go back in with my M504, no additional product. I'm just gonna blend that upper crease. And I know there's a little bit of leftover green on this brush. So that is why I wanted to use it just to bring back that initial transition shade. All right, so as you can tell, that was super fast, quick, and easy to blend, and it still looks colorful and faded out and blended. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the purple shade hung over with my finger, and this shade is pretty creamy, and it doesn't have that much fallout. And I'm just gonna put this on the middle of my eye but I'm not gonna drag it all the way out to the outer corner and I'm not gonna drag it all the way to the inner corner either. I'm just gonna keep it in the middle because I do wanna use that pink as you can see on this eye. I, I have heard that this color stains and as you can see from my finger, I think it does. So I'm probably gonna have purple eyes all week, but we shall see. I'm gonna grab my Smashbox shader brush and I'm just gonna pat the edges of this color. Kind of blend it into the other transitions we have. And now that that is done, I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma E38, no additional product. Just blending the edges again. And now I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the shade Karaoke, which is that blue. I'm gonna tap my Sigma E38 and I'm gonna put it back on the upper crease, kind of to deepen up the crease a little more. And now I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox blending brush and I'm just gonna fade out the edges. And now I'm gonna go in with my finger again and the shade Bottoms Up, which is the pink. Now I do have to say out of this whole palette, this is my least favorite shade. And that is because I thought this was a matte shade. And when I got it, it's like this shimmery shade, but it is very strange. When you touch it, it feels very dry. It doesn't feel creamy like another shimmer shade would. And when you look at it on your finger, it looks like it's gonna be a matte shade. But when you put it on, you can see these specks of glitter. But literally after two seconds, the specks of glitter completely disappear. So after you put it on your eye and blend it out, it is gonna be a matte shade, even though it does have glitter on the pan. So it is a really strange, different formula that I hadn't seen. And I don't know if it's supposed to be a shimmery shade or a matte shade but it's just a very confusing shade 
Yeah, like when you pack it on, as you can tell, it does have a lot of pigment, but the pigment and the glitter both kind of go away very fast after you blend them. So this is the kind of color that I would definitely recommend wearing an eyeshadow base under, putting Fix Plus on it if you're gonna use it as a shimmer shade or using concealer under it if you're gonna use it as a matte shade. So now I just grab a little bit more of the shade hung over the purple and I'm putting the purple again, kind of to bring it back. And now I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox shader brush and just on this edge right here, I'm just gonna blend these two together. I don't know, you guys let me know, what do you think of this palette? I know a lot of people do have BoxyCharm, so if you do have this palette, what do you think of it? And do you love it? Do you hate it? So this is the eyeshadow done. As you can tell, the colors did blend nicely. Would I run out and buy this palette if I hadn't received it on BoxyCharm? I don't think so, and that is because after trying the eyeshadows, I feel like most of the shades in this palette are just kind of disappointing. Like these two shades right here, they did blend nicely, but I feel like they could have been a little bit more pigmented. And with this one, I feel like it was way too powdery, and it was just like a confusing shade. And I don't know if it's just because it's different. And these two are good, but I have better blues and I have better purples. So I wouldn't say this is a complete necessity. Yeah, moving on, I literally just broke my Wet n Wild palette. Like look at this. Literally just broke it while I was opening it. Nice. I guess that's what happens when you use your highlighter too. Too much. This is the One Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. It's the same one I'm wearing on the face. I'm gonna grab it on my Sigma E21 and I'm gonna put this on my inner corner and brow bone. And that's another thing that I didn't really like about the Lolly palette. And that is that there aren't any shades to highlight the brow bone or inner corner. So this is not one of those palettes that you can throw in your purse and just go and create a whole colorful look because you don't have that brow bone highlight. And I feel like a brow bone highlight and a black are just two necessities on every palette no matter what color scheme you have. But that's just personal preference, of course. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the ColourPop DTLA eyeliner on my waterline. I did receive the brown chocolate gel liner from Bang Beauty. And I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Right now, this doesn't match my eye. I definitely have to say, with this Kat Von D eyeliner brush, this liner is just not really performing very well. I feel like this would be a very nice brow pomade. But I wouldn't use this as a gel eyeliner, so if you have this and you got this in the mail and you just don't like brown and gel liner, I would definitely recommend using this brown gel liner as a brow pomade. Just because I feel like it is not pigmented enough as a liner and I really didn't want to ruin my eyeshadow. So now I'm going to put the ColourPop liner on my waterline. And I also am gonna tight line with this liner. And now I'm gonna do my lower lash line and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M432 and the shade it Drinks, which is the orange. I feel like in this palette, this is like my favorite shade. It has the least kickback in the pan, the least fallout on the eyes, and it blends the easiest and it's also one of the most pigmented in the palette. But again, it's just a plain old orange. But I'm just gonna stamp this on my lower lash line. And now with that same brush, I'm gonna grab the shade bottoms up and I'm gonna put it in the inner part of the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna grab my Sigma E34 with no additional product on it, actually no product at all. And I'm just gonna blend this out. Now I'm gonna grab some of the shade Dranks, which is that orange, and I'm just gonna blend it out again. And now I'm gonna do my mascara. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, which is just a new Hourglass Mascara. Alright, so now I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'm gonna be putting on my House of Lashes Lashes in the shade, shade in the style featherette. I did get these on the Boxy Charm on this cute little pink box and I already have one of them right here. I do have to say this lash looks exactly like Claudia number 13 from Huda Beauty. It is literally the exact same lash. I love this lash style. It is like very feathered but it's still very easy to put on. And I've been obsessed with Claudia from Huda Beauty, so it's kind of nice that I got this one. So now I'm just gonna apply my lash. All right guys, so I put on my lash, but right now I literally have pink and purple 
all over my concealer. So I would definitely say if you're gonna use this eyeshadow palette, definitely do your eyeshadow before your foundation or put some powder under your eyes. And I did tap off the excess on my brush and it still had that amount of fallout on my face. So that is definitely disappointing because I usually never ever get fallout that actually ruins my concealer. So I don't really hate this palette. I don't really adore it. So yeah, besides that, I do really like the lashes as I said before. I do love these types of lashes for the everyday. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this Smashbox lipstick I also got and this is on the shade Deep Thought and this shade does not match the eye look at all. It's a literally a chocolate brown but you're gonna have to bear with me. By the way, this is the always on liquid lipstick. I love the applicator on this lipstick because it has a point and it's literally the fastest liquid lipstick to apply literally on the market right now. And the last thing I got is the Ades New York Age Defying Nail Treatment Essential. It's like an oil for your cuticle and nail. I did put this on the other day and it is super, super moisturizing and I did really like it. It is very oily so I wouldn't really recommend putting it on before going out. But having it put on as a little spa night or doing it while you're doing like your manicure is really nice. I would definitely say this oil is definitely really nice. If you do have acrylic nails, you know how sometimes the cuticle can get very dry with your acrylic nails and sometimes you don't have the oil to put on like the oil they do after they finish doing your acrylic nails if you do if you do your acrylic nails you know what I'm talking about so like after they're done they put an oil on your cuticle to make it look super shiny and nice you can use this as that which is really nice and I do really like it because it helps your nails look super shiny and moisturized all day so yeah guys that is pretty much all my boxycharm products used I'm gonna go finish off my hair and then I'm gonna come to recap everything for you guys so I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so this is pretty much my makeup done using every single product from the box. I do have to say, the first product I used was the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I will say these are definitely an 8 out of 10. They're an 8 because I feel like I saw a difference, but I didn't see a humongous drastic difference in my under eye. So they're an 8 out of 10. They are pretty good. The next product I tried is the LLLA Party Animal Palette. I would definitely say this is a 6 out of 10. And that is because I'm not crazy about the formula on some of the eyeshadows in this palette. However, they do all blend nicely. And now the next product is the House of Lashes Lashes. I would definitely say these are a 9 out of 10. And I would say they're a 9 and not a 10 because they're kind of poking my eye right now. And that is a little bit annoying. And I feel like with some other lashes I have, that doesn't happen. However, they are beautiful lashes, super easy to put on. And I love them, so they're definitely a 9 out of 10. The next product is the Smashbox Liquid Lipstick. They stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade Deep Thoughts. This is a 10 out of 10. Everything from the packaging, the formula, it literally works forever. I wore it to work the other day, and it literally lasted through two meals. And I also had my break, and I had a coffee. And I didn't touch on my lipstick once and it looked completely intact. I wear it for like 14 hours that day without touching up once and it lasted through everything. So I definitely love this and the applicator is amazing. So this is a 10 out of 10. And then the two products that I talked about but I didn't really show on camera is the Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. I would say this is definitely like a 6 out of 10 and that is because this is really nice to use for your brows but for eyeliner I wouldn't really use it because I feel like it is not pigmented enough for eyeliner. It is a little bit too liquidy and when you put it on top of an eyeshadow it kind of moves around the eyeshadow and doesn't stay as a liner so I would say this is definitely like a 6 out of 10 because you can still use it for the brows because of the color and then this is the Ades New York Age Defying Nail Treatment this is definitely I would say a 10 out of 10 and that is because this does exactly what it says it is going to do and yeah that was all the product on my boxy charm for August 2018 and on September I am hoping to get the boxy looks if it doesn't sell out and I will definitely be unboxing it and reviewing it for you guys on camera since that will be the first ever boxy looks and it will be over $300 value 
for $28 additional to your subscription. Plus, you will also get 11 products, not only five. Yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of unboxing review video where I review a lot of products in one video. And yeah, if you did, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. However, don't forget to tell me in the comments below, have you tried any of the products in this box from your BoxyCharm box? And what do you think of them? Definitely let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.